Like, what are three things that mm -hmm. you think are the most valuable qualities in a mm -hmm. leader and why? I think there are three qualities that a person needs in order to become a leader. The first one is learning how to solve a challenge. There are so many problems out there in the world, and without learning out how to solve that problem, it's really difficult to become a leader. The second one that I think is important is a vision. What's new? What's different? What's the impossible dream that no one's ever done before? The third thing, of course, is having a team. I wouldn't exactly call it a quality. We need to learn how to work together, how to really come together, and of course, diverse perspectives, learning from one another. And you put all three together, that's leadership. What are values that you think were important in your success as a leader and your growth as a person? The first one is love. Love yourself, love what you do, love your family and friends. The second one is peace, coming from that clear state of mind. The third one is unity. I like to call it unity in the community because we all have to come and work together. The fourth one is honesty and integrity. I always believe at the end of the day, when you're six feet under, most people are going to remember what you did. And honesty and integrity is that gap between what you said you were going to do and what you didn't do. So having that honesty and integrity is important to yourself and to others. And the fifth one that's most important is service. We all come together to create a better world. What is your mission with Imagine Leadership? As you know, with Imagine Leadership, there have been times prior to that where I've lost my voice, um, where I couldn't stand up for myself. And I want to be able to teach people how to, how to do that, to come to life with that sense of joy, purpose, and excitement, that bliss. What does it mean to be a leader? How are we going to solve these problems of the world? You know, from, remember for myself that uh, there was a time period where I couldn't walk and I couldn't even eat solid foods and the authorities always thought that I would just be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. And it took a lot of strength with, inside of me to figure out how was I going to lead myself out of that situation. Also with my career, I once lost my job. And for me that was so important because I had to rediscover me what was important to me so I could wake up in the morning with a smile. And I want to be able to encourage people to do that. As you know, I believe that there's so many challenges in this world, and I really believe the missing link is women. Women need to step up, raise their voice, and talk about what are those things that are bothering them. Because without that, we've been missing out on what is the solution. And if all these women do step up in the world, I believe that we can create a better world.